Welcome everybody, this is Pirate Boots, and this is a follow-up to my previous video regarding Tron and its sale to the Gamigo Group. As would be expected from the secretive and swift sale of Tryon to Gamigo Group, we have still had very little information revealed as to the future of the Tryon properties. Yesterday, the Gar Station reported that its Discord users did some sleuthing of their own and found that its current controlling investor is BlockSense, a company whose goal is to bring blockchain technology into new markets. For those of you and myself who know very little about blockchain, the best description I have found for this is that it's essentially a digital ledger that tracks digital currency and prevents duplication. It's basically a checks and balances for cryptocurrency. Now how does that play into gaming? Well, let's take a look at Gamer Token, a gaming token currency that uses the same technology behind cryptocurrency like Bitcoin. One of the primary partners of this currency is Gamigo. On the Gamer Token website, they described the Gamer Token as a flexible currency for gamers to be used across multiple games. The FAQ goes on to say that the Gamer Token can be used with unique non-fungible digital items to provide players with enhanced ownership over in-game items. The concerning part comes from the following. Non-fungible items can be issued in limited quantities and are verifiably scarce, making them the perfect use case for exclusive in-game items. This statement reads as if they are considering creating an artificial scarcity of some items in the marketplace to drive the value of the item higher. While this may also lead to the ability to trade and sell these items between players, it also seems to hint that a potential cash grab meant to target whales in an effort to give limited players a rare item only purchasable by real world money and at a potentially inflated cost that may ruffle the feathers of an already concerned player base. While no word has been given by Gamigo regarding the future of the Tryon properties, one thing is for certain. Unless Gamigo release a compelling enough statement to ease our concerns, this may lead players to assume the worst will come, given the new information regarding this company. It is too early to tell what may happen. Speaking for myself only, I plan to continue my search for other games to sink my time into. I have been a vocal proponent of Rift's free-to-play model since they started it, as I see it as one of the most fair and balanced marketplaces in free-to-play genre. What worries me is introducing a digital asset with an artificial scarcity to that market that can only be earned through cash. I may be jumping the shark, as well as a few elephants and a gazelle, but Gamigo have essentially left the community to their own speculation, and their only official statement, which I covered in my last video, seems to fall in line with my concerns. While I understand that it takes money to make and do upkeep on games, it seems to me Gamigo is more concerned with the money than the customers. But, as always, leave a comment and let me know what you think. Likes and dislikes are equally appreciated. If you'd like to stay up to date on this as well as my other content, please hit the subscribe button. And if you'd like to support me and the channel, check out my Patreon. The link is in the description. Stay salty, friends.